It's Billu, it's Bit, it's Billu Pit, yeah! Oh, hey there! Hi, David Miller here, and I am here to talk endlessly about Dave Cockrum and the Futurians. You see, I have recently acquired the rights to do new comics books, comic book material based on the Futurians, and I am just so stoked about this, yeah! See, for those of you who don't know, Dave Cockrum co-created a little thing called the X-Men. But he also created something called the Futurians. Now, the Futurians is a wonderful series, just filled with big ideas, bursting with interesting characters, and just pregnant with potential. Now, because of the vagaries of the comics industry and the economy, Dave was not able to tell all the stories he wanted to tell before he passed on. I don't think I could tell the stories Dave wanted to tell. But there are stories that I would like to tell, and I'm just so very excited about this. Okay, we'll be starting off with a mini-series of my favorite member of the Futurians, uh, Avatar. And here's the cover to issue number one uh, by former Legion of Superheroes and Flash artist Greg LaRock, and it's great. Love it. Um, also some interior pages. Okay, that's right, people. There was an Avatar before James Cameron, and there was an Avatar before that Airbender guy. And it was Dave Cockrum's Avatar, and he came out in 83, so he beat them all. Okay, and also, uh, legendary inker Joe Rubenstein has signed on as series inker with number two. Here's a little of his without giving away too much of that issue. And, uh, and we also have an awesome cover for issue two by the insanely talented Mike Netzer. Okay, this is a labor of love for me. Uh, I have invested a lot of time and resources to get this thing off the ground. And, but producing quality comics with a professional staff incurs a lot of production costs. So this is where you come in, friendly Kickstart viewers. Your support can help me do the series the way Cockham would have wanted it done. A quality, color, monthly comic. Now, what do you get out of your donations? Well, I'm glad you asked. <coughs> For those, for a $5 or more donation, you get my undying gratitude, a listing in the book as financiers, and of course, copies, signed copies of issue number one. Now, for anyone that donates $25 or more, you get the $5 reward, plus a piece of pre-production art that, got, that I did to get this thing ramped up. Uh, if that runs out, although there is quite a bit of it, then I will do uh, original sketches for you. That's uh, $25 or more. Okay, for a $50 donation, I will do one of my specialty caricatures for you. Um, I've been a caricaturist in this area for over 20 years. Now we have our dinner setting and our strip poker setting. Hitler head under glass optional, or you could just be drawn with a Hitler head under glass. Who wouldn't want to be drawn with a Hitler head under glass? Okay, now if anyone donates $200 or more, that gets you a piece of the original art. Um, and if that runs out, I will also make available from my, my portfolio pieces that I've done for other series, including a page from War Strike and five pages from Thunder God written by Christopher Golden. Okay, and now that brings us to the $10,000 grand prize reward. If one person ponies up $10,000, you will receive my prized possession in my collection. It is a page from the Blade Runner comic book adaptation by the, in, the legendary Al Williamson. It's the page where Deckard gets kicked in the face by Pris. To my mind, that is the money shot of the whole book. And I'm not doing this because I need $10,000. I'm doing it because this page means so much to me, I could only part with it for 10000 And maybe I've actually priced it so I don't have to lose it. So maybe no one will, but... If there's a collector who wants it, I will part with it for 10000 And that also goes for our $5,000 grand prize reward. And that's if someone, one person donates $5,000, I will part with a page from Excalibur number 48, page 25, by Alan Davis and Mark Farmer. I am the hugest Alan Davis fan. And again, I could only part with that page for personal reasons. For five thousand dollars. Now, uh, I would like to get serious here for a moment. Um, this whole project is huge for me. Uh, I first encountered Dave Cockrum's work when I was ten years old 
in the pages of Legion of Superheroes. And in that brief shining moment, I instantly became a fan of comics, of Dave Cockrum, and consumed by a desire to work in the comics industry. I love Dave's work. It was a source of comfort and entertainment in my formative years, and because of that, I love Dave Cockrum. He was the nicest guy you would ever want to meet. Um, Dave did not get to participate in the profits of the X-Men franchise that he helped to create. So what do I want to accomplish with this goal drive? Um, okay, first off, of course, I want to make a quality and successful comic series. And I want to reintroduce Cockrum's characters to a new generation and make them live again. And three, by my success, I hope to also benefit the Cockrum family whom I've licensed this from. The first issue of Avatar of the, Inf of the Futurians hit stores in July. You can find it in your May Diamond preview catalogs. I honestly feel that the world needs Dave's heroes now more than ever and I thank you for your help in making this project a reality. Thanks. Goodbye.